Otherwise, that's why you have to measure your 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 trading over, like say for example, a hundred trades. Yeah, you have to measure it because of the law of large numbers. You can't just say, um, "Oh, you know what? Um, you know, I've taken ten trades and you know I've lost. I don't know. I've lost uh, uh, seven and I've, and I've gained three. Because do you understand the law of large numbers and what it's about? No, you'd have to go into right. Okay, just 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 quickly. We all know that um, uh, if you flip a coin long enough, yeah, it yeah. Sh- you should get to fifty fifty, right? Yeah, yeah, right. But if you flip a coin, let's say for example, ten times, and you get five heads, and heads represents you know maybe you know you're losing trades. Yeah, yeah? does that mean the next five that you flip? Yeah, is going to be winners. No, no exactly. it doesn't mean because doesn't we. Mean that. There you go. Because we because every trade is random. Yeah, and yeah. like like just like every coin flip is random. Yeah. So so you know we don't know when those wins and those losses are coming. So yeah. to to take only ten trades, yeah, and you know maybe get seven losses. And let's say, for example, three wins. Does that mean that the, uh, the, the, the your winning your win rate and win rates is nonsense anyway? But your win rate is is thirty percent. That's what that's what traders would say. My win rate is bloody thirty percent. It's nonsense because no. we, yeah, exactly. We need a longer. You need more. As, yeah, you need more to do much more trades than that. You can't just do that that little amount. Say. So there you go. Yeah, it's, it's there you go. There you go. Good enough. Would you would you turn around and say that, that that the coin that you flipped that's got seven heads and three tails that it's broken? You wouldn't. He's not saying you wouldn't. Yeah, you wouldn't. He's not saying you wouldn't do that. There you go. Yeah, you wouldn't true, yeah. do that because you know, you know, like deep down, you know that if you flip a coin and you keep doing the same flip, you're not flipping it off off the wall or it's not hitting a table or anything like that. You're just literally letting it drop, letting it drop on the ground, letting it drop, let it be true. That you will get to fifty percent, yeah. You will get to this to this um, to this number, and it's exactly the same thing in trading. Yeah, none of us know when the wins and losses are are coming. Yeah, mm-hmm. so if we can understand this from a psychology perspective, because psychology really is everything. It really is everything. I agree. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter what I give you. It doesn't matter where you go, whether you whether you trade with me, whether you trade with anybody else. It's just no strategy is going to work unless you understand and real. When I say understand, because you can understand these things, but when you're in the trade, you know you, you you're, you're still freaking out if you know what I mean. And it yeah. does take time to get to that point because everybody wants to make money. But this is why I say, if you're trading at point one percent. Yeah. Or let me put it another way. If the if your next trade, if the trades that you're taking, you 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 know, every trade that you took was 10 P a trade. So whether you won or lost was 10 P a trade. Yeah. If you lost 10 in a row, would you freak out for losing a pound? Uh no. No, you wouldn't. It would maybe a bit frustrating the fact that you keep, you know, you're losing. But would you, would it, would, would, would it, would you, with that pressure of finances, like you're going broken, you know what I'm saying? It wouldn't really affect you, if you know what I mean, no. in, that, in that sense. Right. Now, let's flip cool. that where you're trading a hundred pound a trade, yeah? And you lose 10 in a row. And you lost a grand. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be upset. <laughs> there I'll be you upset. go. He's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'll be so, upset, yeah. Right. So the, so the, so the point in trading 0.1% of your total capital is, is, is it manages your psychology because even if you was to w- lose 10 in a row and I lost 15 in a row, bro, I've lost 15 in a row. Yeah. And I came back from it. This was like maybe about three, four years ago. Mm-hmm. And as frustrating as it was because I'd managed my risk, mm-hmm. it didn't affect me as far as my psychology from an account perspective and trying to revenge trade, if you know. Yes, I mean. yeah, yeah, that's the, it, that's the worst. Yeah, and it forces you to still stick to the process. Yes. Like, follow the process over everything. Because this is all the law of large numbers, the, you know, the, uh, the, 
you know, the break even, the, uh, you know, win rates, losing rates, etc. All of this, all of this is all to do with psychology. And once you understand these things, yeah, mm-hmm. and even you understand, for example, uh, you know, good risk reward, and I'm sure you've seen this in the sense that, um, you know, I always tell traders to go for two to one or one to two. So yeah, yeah. what I mean by that is for every single trade, you must attempt to go for, and this is what I was told, for every pound you risk, go for two. Because your yeah. win rate, just to break even, yeah, is 33%. Anything more than that, and you're up. Mm-hmm. So even if you're winning at 40% overall mm-hmm. and you're going for two to ones as a minimum, yeah, you mathematically are making money. Yeah, you are, yeah. Yeah, and I can, I can, I can yeah. literally, I can physically show you that. I can show you that. I don't know if you've seen this. I don't know if you've seen this, this video here. Have you seen this? I don't think I've seen this one. Um, what's the title of this one? Or? Uh, basically, it's uh, I think I must. This is more of a private video, but I did put this on on YouTube maybe about a few years ago. But let me just show you quickly what this is about. Okay. Yeah. What what Mark had asked him to do was to um, was to basically create a piece of software where you can visualize what a forty percent win rate. Or 50% win rate and change the risk reward would be over time and it randomizes it. Yeah. Uh, so what we've got is heads, you win 200, tells you 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 do you minus 100. The okay, probability, one, yeah. yeah, probability is 40%, so the win rate. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And then we can do the you know, you do the cycles, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, and it, it tells you that the, the, the rate of heads and tails. Yeah. So we've got a 40% win rate, and when we do win or when it hits heads, it's double up and tells, obviously, you lose. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Now, no matter how many times I ran this, yeah, we would always get the same result, which is this. I'll just speed it up a little bit. Actually, Matt, I'll just, I'll just go to this. We always got this. Ah. Yeah, you're always, it's always, you're always up. Yeah, you're always up. You're always up. You're always up. Yeah? Always now, up, yeah. but what I want to show you is this. What I do want to show you is this. Yeah? Is this bit here. Now, so obviously the bottom number is the number of flips. Yeah? So the number of flips. So let's say, for example, 80 flips. Yeah? So that that would be like 80 trades. Uh, you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah. Oh, okay, brilliant. Right, so 80 trades. Now let's just focus on there to here. Yeah, mm-hmm. forget the rest of it. Now, this is your equity account right here. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry, I'm just looking for something. Here we go. So here we go. Mm-hmm. So imagine you start trading. You take up to 10 trades and your account is up. Brilliant. Excellent. Mm-hmm. You reach a new equity high, but then, you know, you get drawdowns, which is, you know, which is what happens. Now mm-hmm. over 20 trades, you're back down to here. How many traders do you think, how many traders do you think, yeah, would stick with the same system? After seeing an equity higher, maybe around about eight hundred pounds, seven hundred pounds, and then you're back down now to probably maybe about a hundred pounds. How many traders do you think would go through? Would say, "Oh, you know what? This strategy doesn't work. It's nonsense. I'm going to go with something else." I think quite a lot, to be honest. Especially <laughs> if, if if they're quite if they're quite new as well, and they're, and they're sort of seeing all these get rich schemes or whatever, they, yeah. they'll look at it and say, "This is rubbish. I'm moving on to the next one." Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right, the pain because this is like pleasure and this is pain, you know, yeah. to the downside. Draw down, you're going through, you know, 10, 11, 12. You're not making, and this also, as well, this could represent potentially a month of trading. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, this could represent two months of trading. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and imagine you've taken now 40 trades. Yeah, now you've got back to your, maybe your equity high, you know, over maybe from 20 to 30 trades, 35 trades, and then all of a sudden, boom, you're back down to here again. This whole 40 trade sequence mm -hmm. could represent two months of trading. Yeah, that's pain. Yeah, that's it. Strategy don't work, Leon's nonsense, all that bullshit. He's a scammer. Go on to the next one. <laughs> da, 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 you see what I'm saying? And then what yeah, you're yeah. doing is just going to you want to repeat the same thing because none of us know when the drawdown is coming. It's coming, yeah. We right? don't, yeah. You could join me, and then we could start. Off, you could start from here, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's like, oh my day, yeah. the strategy in the world. <laughs> you see what yeah. I'm saying? It's, it's it's fantastic. I'm making new highs. I'm making yeah. money. Brilliant. Da, 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 da. Yeah. But then when the drawdown comes, it's like, ah, oh, you know what? This is bullshit. Da, 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 da. Cause you could have joined right here. Yeah. That could be today's date. And then all of a sudden you join here because none of us know again when those losses are going to come, when that drawdown is going to come. Mm -hmm. But as we've already seen, yeah, into the future, as long as you stick to the plan mathematically, the question I always ask traders, is with all the analysis that we do, with the fundamentals, with the sentiment, with the, the strategy itself, you know, technically, can we be right more than 33% of the time overall? Of course we can. Yeah. We are. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And we are. Yeah. Do we have drawdowns? Yeah. Do we have losing a losing month or two? Yeah. But mm -hmm. we still stick to the process. Mm -hmm. You know, there are hedge funds that have losing years. They might win, you know, eight years and lose and, and, and lose two years. Two but years. during but during those two years of losses, remember you have to endure the two years. Yeah, you have to, yeah. You have to. You have to but yeah. what makes but what makes a hedge fund endure well actually what makes a hedge fund is, is the fact that they've got investors and things like that, but yeah. you know for people to answer to. But you know, would you then throw out let's say for example you had two three winning years and then you had one losing year yeah would you then just throw out the, the strategy no you wouldn't because you overall when you look at a bigger picture you've won more there times go. there you go that's it's, exactly. it's just about it's, a, it's about a bigger picture to be honest. And, and managing risk and let and yes. let the rewards run let your you know your risk reward don't always go for two to one i always say two to one minimum try and go for three four five to ones let it run etc um mm. so in fact if you're if you're you know if if you're going for like one to three risking one and going for three pounds, your break even rate is actually twenty five percent. The only thing you have to do is just stay in the game and 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 follow the process as 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 closely as possible. Flip the coin yeah. as closely as possible consistently. Yeah. yeah, and then you're going to see this. Yeah. I can't tell you when. <laughs> I would like it to be straight away. I would love it yeah. to be straight away. Yeah? yeah, I would love it to be straight away. But anyone who's telling you otherwise, and this is, and I'm telling you, this is the reality. You're not going to hear this from nobody else, mate. No one else you're going to hear this from. I don't, know, don't even know whether you've heard this from anyone anyway in the first place. But you're not going to hear this from anybody. This is the realities of trading. Yeah. So I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to, you know, uh, tell you that, yeah, you know, this is the, the right one for you and da, 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 da. I'm going to try and help you as like Mark helped me. Mm -hmm. As long as you're putting the work in, yeah, as long as you put the work in, I'm here for you, man. So if what I'm saying resonates with you, why not check out trading180.com? There is a selection process to trade my supply and demand zone forex strategy. I'm only looking to work with uh, individuals with the right mindset, you know, who are hard working as well. So um, check that out and access really for less than one pound a day. This Some of the strategies in here are not for beginners. So if you don't know what supply and demand is, please check out all of my supply and demand videos. I have hundreds of videos on YouTube, so you can check that out first. Um, guys, take care and until the next video, have a good one.